Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we will talk about that why data structures are important and how it is useful in real life applications, right? So, until so far, uh, in the next upcoming sessions, I am planning to continue some DSA based questions and the queries which are frequently asked to me via LinkedIn. But before starting all those concepts, I want to show you that why this, this DSA that we are studying here is really important. Like what is the motivation of studying these things, right? So before starting any concept related to data structure algorithms in my YouTube channel, you should be aware of that what is actually called as data structure. As the name suggests that data structure is something which is we can say is a way to structure the data. Very simple, right? The name only suggests that data structure is something that it's a way to structure the data, right? To structure the data using various techniques, structure the data. Now, this data will be helpful for the retrieval purpose. If suppose I want to retrieve any kind of data, when it is in a structured format, I can retrieve it easily. It is helpful to store, right? It is helpful to process. It is helpful to organize, right? So these are the applications of this data structure. So whenever uh, we may have any kind of data structure, so this is what it is doing, right? Retrieval, storing, the processing and the organization of that, that particular data. There are a lot of data, data structures that are available. For example, we have arrays. For example, we have linked list. For example, you will see we have tree, we have stack, we have queue, we have graphs, and many more, and many more. So basically, there are so many different kinds of data structures which are available. Now, the simple yet very interesting question which is coming in our head is that, that if there is a already present data structure which is available so why there is a need to create these multiple different kinds of data structure so the, my answer is that every data, data structure has its own pros and cons you will see that for maybe one operation one data one kind of data structure is important and for another operation that particular data structure is not giving us a very good results and that's why there is a need to create or to have multiple data structures in our head that's why the knowledge of each and every data structure with its own pros and cons is pretty important to understand. For example, I want to give you one just simple example that suppose you have a list of records. You have a list of records where the data is containing maybe the insertion operation, okay, then the deletion operation and the searching operation. Now, in a data, Suppose I am saying that searching operation is the one in the above data, in the above set of records. Searching is the most frequent operation which we are doing. Searching is the most frequent operation which we are doing. At that point of time, maybe the array data structure will play a very good role because in, in an array, we have the option to do binary search, right? Which is an application of array. Basically, why? because a randomized search is possible in case of an array-based data structure. So those who already have an awareness about these data structures, they will be able to correlate that what I, what I am saying here, right? But on the other hand, if suppose I am saying that insertion and deletion is the most frequent operation, so in an array, it will take order of n in worst case scenario to basically do the insertion and deletion. So if these two operations, insertion and deletion, are the most frequent operations, at that point of time, obviously, your answer should be that we should go for a linked list based approach. Because in a linked list, to do the insertion and deletion, it will just take order of one time complexity. So basically, the important point here to understand is that depending upon the scenarios, depending upon the use case, we should have the knowledge or we should be able to decide that which particular data structure is uh, going to be playing a very important role or which particular data structure we should use to implement the same. Similarly, let me try to, so these are the few, uh, what I can say are the examples with the help of which I want to explain you 
so that you guys will be able to appreciate the concept of the applications of various data structure that we have okay similarly what i want to state here is that i hope everyone is aware, aware about this undo operation that we have undo operation what is this undo operation says it's just control plus z when you tap in your system what happens it plays a role of lifo the full form is last in first out right let me show you one practical demonstration for the same for example here what i can do is that what i will try to do is that i this is one random code which i have written now what will happen suppose i will delete something from here by mistake so what we usually do we first of all apply that control plus z so what what is happening is that whatsoever content i have deleted on the very last will come first right that is what happening in case of a undo operation and that is the application of something we called as a stack that is the application of something we called as a stack so when when developers have designed this undo kind of keyword to to get that last particular word back so that is the kind of operation that we did, did that did, did internally to perform the undo operation apart from that what other applications that we can see here for example let me try to give you one another example i hope everyone has the spotify in their mobile phone to listen the music now suppose you want to go back and fro you want to go if you will tap next next music will play if you tap the previous button the previous whatever song you you were listening at that time that will be played so basically here what is happening is that the next and the previous in a way the concept of linked list is playing into picture if you already aware about this concept here what is happening is that there is a linking of the next node as well as with the previous node so what kind of linked list it is do let me know in the comment section so we are having various different types of linked list one is simple singly linked list is that singly linked list i don't think so because we are having two different tabs one is for the next and another one is for the back so do let me know it is circular or w doubly or singly whatever you think and why is that so similarly if suppose you are searching for uber or ola cabs that we also uh, know uh, pretty well uh, usually whenever we are moving uh, or whenever going we are going for a office on a daily basis we used to book a cab right so how basically that people will get to know or we as a user customer will get to know that how far the person is so all these things are done with the help of a concept of a networking and here if you will see the graph data structure is playing a very important role there are two different kinds of graph traversal that we have which is bfs and dfs which are playing internally to get us uh, book a cab right apart from that when we talk about e-commerce website any e-commerce website where if you will see you are having a category of one thing then you are having a sub category and then you will finally get into the product side in that in that particular scenario the tree data structure is playing a very important role where we are having a root node then under that umbrella we are having the various leaf nodes uh, or the child nodes i should say and after that when we reach to a final page that is something we are calling as a leaf node apart from that here if you will see your browser data your browser data history data history is deleted after one month so here if you will see this kind of scenario is something where whatsoever is the first content we uh, type and is there in the history will be removed first so this is something where i would say the queue kind of data structure is playing a very important role so at each and every time if you will observe when i am saying undo our use case is completely different where we want that lifo kind of thing which is not done by any other other data structure and is only done by the stack based data structure so in a way what i want to here illustrate in this particular session is that that why these data structures are important the very simple thing is that that we want some medium where we will be able to store that data efficiently we will be able to retrieve that data efficiently 
we will be able to process that data efficiently with with applying some kind of algorithms on top of that that also i will discuss for example we have divide and conquer dynamic programming greedy algorithm so these are the logics that we apply on top of this data structure right so here how efficiently we will be able to organize that data we will be able to get that only when we have a knowledge of all these different kinds of data structure then only you will be able to see that how these uh, applications of data structure in real life also is important is playing a very important role i would say data structure is the foundation of each and every programming language everything whatsoever you are studying so far whether you are in any domain you will see that somehow you are using the data structure because at that point of time you should have the knowledge that what particular kind of data structure you should use to implement that particular algorithm right so with this i would like to end this particular session hope that the agenda of this session is pretty much clear to everyone now after this session you will get a lot of concepts re related to data structure as well as related to algorithms so what are algorithms it's just a problem solving logic that you are applying on top of these data structure how you are applying that you will get to know in the later part of our uh, of our series of dsa but i hope that this is making sense uh, whatever we have covered up in this part if you still have any sort of doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll for sure read all the comments of you all and with this i would like to end this particular session uh, we'll see you all in my next upcoming session till then bye bye everyone do subscribe and share with you all all your friends